Okay. Hey, boys and girls. Uh, lecture 35. Uh, today, we're going to talk about equations of circles and points on the coordinate plane. Uh, a couple things we need to go over is what does the equation of a circle look like? Well, you might want to pause the video and write this down. Uh, we got x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where the center of the circle is represented by h and k, okay? <laughs> and r represents the radius, which we already know. Now, in this example, I'm going to give you uh, a circle with a radius of 3. Uh, I'm going to give you a circle with a radius of 3, and I want the center of the circle to be 2, negative 1. I'll show you how to draw that up here in a second. And then the question is, where does the point 3, 4 exist on the coordinate plane? Okay. Pretty much, is it inside the circle, outside the circle, or on the circle? All right. So let's take a look at a graph here. And we'll draw an XY coordinate plane. Let me change colors here. Oops. And when you draw your circles, guys, always plot the center of the circle first. Okay, so we got 2, negative 1. I'm going to change the color to blue here. So I want to plot that point 2, negative 1 on my coordinate plane. And then I'm going to make a radius of 3. And this is just units here. So you can draw a radius this way. Go along the grid. 1, 2, 3. You can go this way. You can go this way. Or you can go this way. Okay. Now I'm going to try. <laughs> again, I'm going to try to draw this circle to where it's going to have that radius. And right now it's not looking too good. Uh, let me see if I can draw it a little bit better here. Gosh, guys, my drawing is awful. Uh, well, let me just do this the old-fashioned way. Yeah, that's why I was trying to get the circle right. Anyway, all right, so there's my circle. And the point that we got to look at is two, uh, 3, 4. Now, 3, 4, when we plot it, would be up in here. And clearly, it is outside the circle. All right? Now, instead of drawing a graph, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the equation of a circle and at the same time, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to determine, just by looking at the equation algebraically, if this point is inside, outside, or on the circle. Okay? And we'll discover something tomorrow, but this will kind of give you an idea. And I'm going to see if you can recognize the pattern. Uh, let's write our equation of the circle, given this and this. All right? So we got x minus, my center is 2, negative 1. So that's going to be x minus 2 squared plus y minus negative 1. Minus a negative changes that to a positive. Remember your signs. And then your radius is obviously 3. So I'm going to write 3 squared. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug and chug, okay, let me change colors here, this in for x and y. And you're going to see something algebraically I think is just, just awesome, okay. You get rid of all your variables. Uh, y is 4, my point here, plus 1 squared equals 3 squared. We can go ahead and do 3 squared, which is 9. Okay, check this out. 3 minus 1, uh, 2 is 1, sorry. 
1 squared plus 4 plus 1 is 5 squared. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need that right here. And then that is 9. Now, check this out. 1 squared is 1. 5 squared is 25. And that equals 9. When I add these two numbers together, this number is greater than my radius squared. Now here's the thing. We know the point is outside. Okay? If you plug it into the equation of a circle and that number is greater than your radius squared, that point is outside the circle. Okay? Now, so what assumptions algebraically would happen if the point was inside the circle? That number would be less than your radius squared. Inside is less than. Now, if it equals R squared, it's definitely going to be on a point on the circle. Okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow.